They watch us more closely than we realize. Not with judgment, not with expectation, but with a quiet kind of awareness that feels almost human. We look at them and see animals. But when they look at us, they see their world. Because here's the truth. Animal emotions are not simple. They're not shallow. They're not instinct without meaning. Their emotional world is layered, sensitive, and surprisingly familiar. At first glance, we tell ourselves their reactions are basic. A wagging tail means happiness. A lowered head means guilt. A purr means affection. Simple, right? But here's the thing. Those surface-level signs barely scratch the truth beneath. Animals feel, not like us, with us. And this is where it gets fascinating. Take attachment theory, the same psychological concept used to understand human bonding. It shows up clearly in them. Dogs sprint to the door the moment their human comes home, not because they're excited, but because they're attached. Cats follow you from room to room, pretending they're not following, not because they're independent, but because proximity is their love language. Birds preen your hair the way they preen their flock. Rabbits flop beside the person they trust most, exposing their vulnerable belly. These aren't instincts. They're emotional choices. And the psychology behind this runs deeper. Researchers studying mirror neurons, the brain cells that allow one individual to feel another's emotion, discovered something extraordinary. Animals mirror us more than we mirror them. When their human is sad, their breathing changes. When their human is anxious, their heart rate rises. When their human is joyful, their body softens. They feel our inner weather, not through words, but through resonance. It's empathy without language, connection without explanation. Imagine this scene. A human sits on the floor, head down, silent. Their dog walks over quietly. No tail wagging, no excitement, just presence. The dog rests its head on their knee. Their breathing synchronizes. Something invisible shifts. No one taught the dog this. Love taught them. And here's what's really happening. They're reading us like open books, posture, tone, energy, micro-movements we don't even notice. To them, silence isn't emptiness.